I started off as a middle school science teacher for 11 years in Flagstaff, Arizona, which was amazing. I love the middle school age group. They're a lot of fun. You can really mold and shape those kiddos as they are getting ready to pursue their academic pathway. And of course, I loved all things space and STEM. So that's where I integrated NASA and NOAA and any other space agency into the classroom to give them hands-on project-based learning. We didn't do textbooks, no worksheets. And then, um, so we sent experiments to the International Space Station. We launched high altitude balloons with scientific payloads and actually got to fly on the zero-g plane uh, a couple times with student experiments. The next generation of students, um, they are our explorers. We have so much to learn about ourselves, our planet, and beyond. And a lot of what NASA does is with their exploration and research, they're exploring off the Earth for the Earth. So a lot of what they design and develop and innovate with their technologies actually pushes us here on Earth and those technologies benefit um, humanity as a whole. So off the Earth for the Earth, so to speak. So for example, the ECLIS water filtration system that's on the space station has also been uh, implemented here on Earth for third world countries to help clean water uh, for those communities and even polarized lens sunglasses that we use every day um, that came from NASA technology. So there's so much we don't even know that those um, pushing the envelope and boundaries actually benefits everyone here on Earth. I know from personal experience that coding uh, can be very challenging. Um, in my own classroom, it, I didn't know everything there was. I knew very basic coding, and so some of my students knew even more than I did. And it can be very intimidating because it's, it's like a foreign language, and you do have to study it, you have to practice it, and implement it. So any teacher that might not be fully confident with that, their own professional development um, should just be baby steps. You know, take a little class here. There's a lot of free online sources um, and resources that you can use. Um, and it's just having that dedication to do a little bit every day. And even, I would say, engage the students. They can be really good teachers. And if you have a little break, you know, have the students come. And if you have a problem, show me how to do this. Do you know how to do this? If not, can we maybe figure it out together? I loved working through problems with my students because they really taught me things and showed me things that from a whole new, another perspective that I was like, wow. And, and then I learned it and I'll never forget it because they did such a good job. And that's what we do with our educators here through our Space Exploration Educator Conference and also our Space Learning University program. We incorporate a lot of robotics and coding because that's something they're really interested in. It's really exciting and it's what NASA is doing. There's a whole lot of coding that goes on at NASA for the Artemis program, the new Orion capsule, Robonaut, Valkyrie, all these different types of innovation and technology. They need coders for space exploration and so we integrate that into our programs. And with Space U, we also have the teachers participate too. So it's not just something for the students, it's a safe place where the, the teachers can learn as well and try out these new things and think, okay, maybe I can go back and do this as well in my classroom. Well, I think computer gaming is really quite innovative um, with this generation of of kiddos, um, including my own son, who's really into it as well. And so I see that they have this interest. It can, it's so realistic these days that you can really put them in these um, VR, AR, or different simulations that actually have them connected with people from around the world. So it can really be beneficial to integrate that teamwork and communication uh, for the success of a mission. NASA, of course, uses VR technologies to actually trained for different aspects of space exploration. So knowing that all these different organi organizations do use this technology in gaming, so to speak, um, it provides a really safe environment to try new things, test new things, and um, is very innovative. So I really think it can be something very beneficial for students and the classrooms to find a safe place to try new things.